Prime Minister Andrew Holness ordered the audit following revelations that Petrojam was unable to account for over half a million barrels of oil worth more than $5 billion. Now, the terms of reference drafts to be used for the forensic audit are to be published within a few days. Energy Minister Favreau Williams, during Parliament's Standing Finance Committee, made an invitation for members of the public to give their feedback. Okay. And I'm inviting all groups, public sector, private sector, anyone who wants to comment to take a read, look at it, send their comments into us, and then we will package and you know, go out in terms of finding the entity to come in and do that forensic audit. Last month, concerns were raised about a possible conflict of interest after a parliamentary committee was told that the government would be guided by the terms of reference drafted by the Petrojam management team. In a subsequent response, the office of the Prime Minister said Petrojam submitted an initial suggested terms of reference for the audit, but it had to go through a review process involving the Prime Minister's office, the Ministry of Finance, and other persons or entities. In the meantime, opposition spokesman on energy, Philip Paulwell, has asserted that shutting down Petrojam and converting it to an import terminal is a better economic decision. You know that if that refinery is shut and is going to be used as a terminal, that, that for me is a much more attractive, financially attractive um, economic activity than a refinery whose um, rate of return would be far less than if you were just importing finished products. Mr. Paulwell made the declaration on Tuesday at the Standing Finance Committee meeting as he questioned the Energy Minister about two valuations done in relation to the refinery. One report, placing a $34 million US dollar valuation on Petrojam, was based on the assumption that the refinery operations will cease at the end of this year and 70% of workers sent home. Janae Williams, Frontline News.